Close to 1,000 party members will attend the LNP conference this weekend, making it the largest conference in more than a decade. Queensland political reporter Harry Clark. There's a general sense of anticipation in the room as Queensland's LNP gathers ahead of the October election, which the party is heavily favoured to win. It's been nine years since the Campbell-Newman government was wiped out by Labor under Anastasia Palaszczuk, and the polls are consistently indicating the LNP will return to government this year under David Crisofulli. The convention began with a series of closed-door meetings before the first keynote address by Brisbane's LNP Mayor, Adrian Schrinner. Mr Schrinner has been outspoken about high overseas immigration numbers, putting pressure on housing and government service delivery in Brisbane, and he expressed that concern again in his speech. Another topic of focus was the impact of the Greens. Albanese's government decision to open up international borders in a way they have never been opened up before is only adding further pressure. More pressure to the housing market, more pressure to community services, more pressure to roads and transport. The Greens have been busy pinching as many left-leaning voters as they can. The Greens outpolled Labor in eight wards across the city. And Labor is in such dire straits in the western suburbs that in the ward of Pullenvale, they polled 11%. Now, these statistics mean that the Greens are only three seats away from having the same representation in council as the Labor Party. And it also means that Labor has lost the ability to form a majority administration in the future in its own right. Federal LNP leader Peter Dutton will speak at the conference tomorrow before Mr Christopher Fully's address on Sunday. In Brisbane, Harry Clark, Sky News.